Fellow Nigerians, if na person they tell me waiting at the year for inside this video, I for hardly believe. Make we not just hear waiting this man you guys are seeing in this video. Just tell some Hausa people. Since when they brought me up to this age when I did, I never hear something like this for my life. If you come across this video, I beg, help me spread this video. Help me share this video. Make other Nigerians, make the see here waiting at the year for inside this video because they just ask this man, this man one particular question, say make it come react for the question. Make one just listen to the video and I'll come back to react to this video. The other work Christians that are causing this division, let's get your reaction. Uh, I, debunk, I debunk that accusation. It's a falsified accusation of the highest order. Why? I know that the, 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 the killings going on in the north, especially southern and northern Kaduna, are caused by the Flani headers, Flani bandits, Flani jihadists. You know what they do? These people are abusing, killing both Hausa Muslim and the Hausa Christian. Now they have come out, start accusing Christian Hausas. See, the killings in Hausa land is indiscriminate. Yeah, it's not discriminative. You know what I mean by discrimination? Yeah. They don't basically kill only Christian houses. They kill Muslim houses, which is outrightly define it as land grabbing. They want to take over the land of their their, their guests, their hosts. Sorry, people that has hosted them from 1804 to date. The Fulanis abusing, murdering mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, husbands, wives from Hausa extraction. See, this kind of pogrom, this kind of killing is not known boundary. No, no, it, it doesn't know boundary. Religious boundary, no. Geographical location within the Hausas, no. They are indiscriminately killing everybody. That is of Hausa extraction in northern Nigeria. The impression they are trying to give us is that they are one, but the Hausa Christians are trying to scatter them. Hausa has never ever allowed that that statement in the recent time. Hausa has at least you know separated themselves from their Fulani counterparts. Fulani has killed many Hausas during Buhari regime. As I'm talking to you presently, Hausa and Fulani are divided. I'm talking from the heart. Okay, currently we see on social media, we read on social media how the Hausas have been killed by the Fulanis, their Fulani counterparts. They kill children, they kill mother, they kill Christians, they kill Muslims. What are you telling me? They are reward Christians, they are the peace-loving northerners. The misguided, the, the, the misguided information was from the Fulani murderers trying to convince the whole world that they are friendly to their to their to their host to their host their house are hosts are good people the real house of nigeria are very very friendly to the extreme they don't hurt anybody it is the fulanis that are so murderous to the level of killing the houses the owner of the land so the, it is not only the conquest of the north that is going on. The conquest that is going on now started early 1804, down to date, till date. The Fulanis are busy killing mother, mother, and so on and so forth, that are from outside extraction. I'm telling you the fact. So when you listen to that kind of statement, you will be highly misguided, misinformed, and educated. Oh, they, are, they are trying to play on the minds of the north. They are playing on their mind already. They have succeeded on prevailing on them. Because as I'm talking to you now, they also have come out from their what chair to understand that Fulani has come not only to Islamize, but to grab the entire northern geography. Nigerian northern geography is under the court to tutelage of the Fulani oligarchs. They are the ones that come from Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Chad, Sudan, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea, and so on and so forth. They are the Fulanis. They are two murderous, bloody people. 
To waste blood means nothing to Flanema. Okay, they come with the Islamic agenda, they suppress the Yorubas from the exit of a lorry. Yes, they won now. They kill Obafonja now. What are you I say? It's history. The history is there, they don't want us to read history in the school. But everybody has freedom of what? Reading. Nobody can, could restrict me from reading. Afonja was beheaded. He allowed them. They stay with him before you know it. They stir up uprising. And during the commotion, Afonja was beheaded. By their flani get, uh, 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 guests. Just imagine. Now, the conquests. It's still going on. He didn't get to the south. He didn't get to the southeast. No, 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 no. On the way coming, the mid belt, the paramount upper, the paramount king. Atta of Egala stopped the conquest of the Flanese from the north and the mid, mid belt region. It could not sell through to the axis of Igbo land. No. Atta of Egala, one of the strongest kings in Nigeria then apprehended Osman Danfodu and beheaded him, beheaded him. He was beheaded by Atta Figala. Atta Figala went direct, cut his head. His armor bearers, their dead body were, were scattered all over the former Benue state. Atta Figala stopped the conquest, planning conquest of the mid -Bell. They could not scale through from Benue. The Benue Noirs, Benue people are Christians. Then, we're coming to Ibo land. They discover that Ibos are warriors. Ibos are warriors living in the bush. We are invincible. You can't conquer the Ibos. You can't you can never enter Ibo land. That's why Ottoman Dafodio did not come. Had he been he came. We for slaughter Ottoman Dafodio and eat his meat. <laughs> Osman Dafodio will understand the reason why the Ibos are cannibals. We for eat him. Okay? Flanny can never set their feet of Islamization on Igbo land. It is not possible. Organ from Anambra said we are invincible. We will eat. We would have eaten Ottoman than for you. Cut. Nanawa for you. He can walk in Igbo land. That's why they could not come. Our fathers are warriors. Organ, we are Christians there. We are Judaists there. The Jewishness in our veins could not assimilate Islamization. We are too much. We are higher. And higher than any other ethnicity in Africa. Go and do your research. So it's not by God though. And no room for no room for no room for Fulani in the East. Okay, no room for Fulani in the East. The people who have apprehended them just last week and brought all of them in the bush. To explain on the public square what they are doing in the bush, why they are constructing slums everywhere in the bush at Interje. Does the land belong to you? You come into somebody's land, you start encroaching there. God created everybody, located them geographically. Go and stay in your land. Stop encroaching in, on another man's land. Full and ease, they have succeeded on prevailing on the houses. They have fights, they have scores with the houses to settle. Thank you for watching that video. So guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram and also on YouTube. So that everyone out there will see this video. So guys, see you guys some other time.